Hello, I'm Grumpy Lion 89 and welcome to Let's Play Star Drive with the Tech Level mod installed. Now, my previous Let's Play isn't finished and that's because the save file got corrupted. And why that is, I have absolutely no idea. I have tried to uh, <coughs> restore a, uh, a older file, but after playing with that a half an hour it crashed again and I haven't been able to track down the issue and resolve it but the other thing I could do was restore I say from uh, 15 episodes ago but I wouldn't uh, think that, uh, that that is a solution because we, I was probably ended up uh, uh, very different than the last episode I recorded and uploaded uh, finished so I decided because it's such a gr great game and I found another great mod there are a lot of great mods out there and the tech level mod is uh, great as well I've played with it a bit and it's very different you have, uh, can find different anomalies there are a whole bunch of new tech and it's just great so I uh, thought well let's uh, start up a new uh, series because it's such a great game one of my favorites actually I l absolutely love uh, space strategy games and uh, why I like it so much is it's uh, it can be a very difficult game but it's not complicated like uh, games like Star Ruler, Distant Worlds and all, uh, all kinds of dead games those can be very complicated and uh, difficult to uh, wrap your head around and with this I don't have that I actually have a perfectly good clue what's going on not to pretend that I'm very good at it but I know what's going on uh, let's see what are we going to play at well, maybe ju just just the humans. Why not? I like those uh, those ship layouts. And what are we going to change here? I don't want the prototype flagship. And let's move meticulous. Well, let's remove everything, and then I'm going to talk as how I am going to play this. Last episode my last game which I didn't record and I've lost by the way I've played on hard and I know a lot of players uh, think that's too easy but for me it's hard enough and I can win it with a bit of luck but I lost because I got focused on my military and because of that uh, a whole, all other stuff was lacking so I'm I had a great fleet but the tech level from that of that fleet was too low. So this game I will try a different approach and the first uh, the first uh, couple of researches are going to be to increase our science output as uh, as big as possible and to increase our population because that helps with a lot of stuff. And we have to be able to fund to fund that, so we have to increase our uh, income as well. So that said, um, let's do uh, let's start with smart because of the thirty five percent research bonus and efficient metabolism is tempting, but not really for the goal we are going for fertile is uh, very helpful as well alluring no eagle eyed no I'm tempting to go for industrious but there's another one, uh, mi militarized or something, militaristic, 
Race with strong military traditions are prepped and ready to meet alien threats. As a result, they begin the game with military outpost armory theory and corvette hull uh, technologies. I am tempted to start with this because I am not going to start off with researching military tech and weapons and all kinds of that stuff. So we could, uh, this will be very helpful. But in the long run, I don't think it's very helpful. So I'm, I'm not sure what I want to do here. Manifest destiny. Races processing a pioneering spirit believe that their destiny lies out to stars. As a result, your peasant transports carry three times as many colonists to new planet. It's very good as well. Basically, no, I don't want that, honest. I am uh, attempting to take this one for the minus two points. Let's see how we, uh, how things work out. I think I'm going to go for industrious. And 20% overall increase sh uh, to ship module hit points is good as well, but I want to have something for, my, for our income. Savage, no, that's not what I want. Mercantile. Ah, this is tempting. But uh, we need another point for that. Let's go, uh, maybe I make a very big mistake. But... Maybe... We should get honest. honest. I forget those agents to send them out to steal. Well, I don't really think there is much tech to steal for us, but if my plan works and we get a head start in tech, then we don't really need those agents to steal tech. So, and defending roles will be, uh, uh, the defending part will be harder, but we can combat that by uh, taking this mercantile and there's another one Meticulous, so we have combat that problem with uh, With the, those extra income so we can uh, train our uh, spies better more money to invest in our spies so i think this will work out now galaxy size i'm going with epic <coughs> solar systems let's set it for abundant this will now we have to change our strategy again because we have to grab as many systems as we can because if we don't do that and we do not explore enough and not colonize enough then we are lagging behind in systems and in all our output i tempted hard or normal uh, i think i leave it on normal it would be a shame if this let's play ends in five episodes Basing. What do we do? Do we leave it at 100% or... Well, it's rather... Uh, quick. 100%. Uh, let's leave it at 100%. So, we have an epic galaxy size, solar systems, abundant... Opponent 7, game mode we can change anyway, pacing 100%, difficulty normal. And we have the uh, smart thread, 
that will help our research industrious that will help with our production we have mercantile and meticulous for our uh, income and honest to get the two extra points so we are not going to be a uh, a uh, sp nation with great spies but I think we are mainly going to use them to defend our research so I think this is it let's change this uh, let's take uh, purple I like purple and engage And pause. Where are we? It looks like we are in the right uh, right corner of the map. I'm going to auto explore, auto build projectors. Uh, let's do this out as well. And we have two anomalies. Now with this mod, the anomalies change a lot. Let's let's just first take a look at the tech tree. It's just amazing. Look all this stuff. This is just one. This is just the uh, colonization that uh, energy. Look at this. Energy shielding. Seventy two thousand research points so it, uh, it's going to be a while before we are there economics I don't think there's much is this one new no I don't think it's new or is it I don't know actually physics look at this Amazing. We're going to get in all of this. And in contrary to my previous Let's Play series, I'm going to record the ship design. Because new players are going to learn from it, or at least I hope. And veteran players can laugh at me and uh, know. Uh, what I do wrong and maybe uh, point me to it what I should do different in a design oh, I love this artillery, artillery I'm actually tempted to get it right away but we don't have a ship to place it on anyway massive cannon I think it only fits in cruisers so if you don't like the ship designing part just uh, skip the video a couple of minutes. Missiles. Oh, I like torpedoes as well. Anti frigate missiles here. Tor conventional torpedoes. And this thing, those missile silo, is absolutely great if you get it early on. I mean, no, there is no uh, ship early game. Not remnant, of course, but from your opponents in the game that can with withstand that missile silo. And most most of the time a one shot kill. Later on, I don't think it's uh, it could be of much use, but we are definitely going to pick that up early on. Ultimate torpedoes. Ooh. This torpedo on slow to devastating torpedoes packed with the packed to the hilt with explosives. They require substantial ordnance to fire and can be intercepted. By point defense weapons. Well, I'm not going to take too much time. We have plenty of time to go uh, all over one while we're at it. Look at the ship's construction. These are all engines. Advanced Titan engines. Is this 100,000? I don't even know how to pronounce that number in English. 
And this is the Starship Combat System. There are all types of uh, ordnance storage, all different types of armor. I just love all this. It's fantastic. Good. Uh, let's first uh, make sure our uh, we have one colony ship here. Do we have any planets? We have. No, I'm not going to pick those up. I think, as a rule of thumb, a planet need to have at least uh, a max population of five if you want to colonize it. Anything below. I don't want, I think. So what do we need? Do we, I want to, to start off with a, you know what, I think I'm going to end the episode here. And next episode we're going to start playing, finally. I've talked long enough I think, but you get the idea what I want to do now and how I want to play this game. Let's see how that uh, abundant uh, habitable uh, solar system of habitable planets work and I hope my research strategy is going to work. So, I thank you all for watching. Have fun gaming. Bye bye.